Again, welcome to Yoki Conscious Spoken Word Podcast. You can find us on Spotify under Awakening Moment Playlist. All right, today's topic we're going to talk about is called the fractured mind. You may ask me or ask yourself, what is this dude talking about or fractured mind? What I'm actually talking about is your mindset. But before you even get into talking about fractured mind, we're going to be talking a, give you a jump start of what I'm talking about. So for instance, when you see a tree, what is it that exactly do you see when you see a tree? I'll ask, I ask a lot of people that same question. So a lot of people give me the answer. They say, I only see a tree. I see the leaves. I see the, the limbs. I see it growing to a certain point, right? That's understandable because that's how we're mentally programmed to see the tree. We're not mentally programmed to see the tree for what it actually is or I meant to see anything else in that aspect. So we're programmed or preset idea of what the tree is. But along with those preset ideas, we lose our self-awareness and we lose our self-being and and our spirit don't drive and we don't get our spirit what what we wanted to do. So when I see a tree, this is how I see a tree. When I see a tree, I just don't see the tree for the limbs, the bark, and the grass that's growing around it. I ask myself the question, what is the root of the tree doing? Because the root has to be planted deep into something for it to be growing to that extensive amount. And how far does that root go? You know what I'm saying? So we have to see the tree for more than what the tree is. Because the tree gives us so much. So when I see the tree, I'm like, so if the tree is growing deep down into the ground. And it's growing under the ground where the ground is dark. Right? And it's in darkness, but yet still, it can find its positive way of actually nurturing itself to grow to that big. We have to now ask yourself is, what, how come we're not doing it? So how come we're not definitely rooting ourselves in Mother Nature and growing to be that expansion of that tree? Where the aspect is, her hands and her feet is the limbs of the tree. And right here is the extension of like the leaves. Right, so where I'm going with this is that if the tree itself could grow so deep down that it comes out with such a positive outlook, we need to take uh, take a stack and say, okay, we need to mentally reprogram the idea of how we see things or the idea we see a cat or dog or whatever the case may be, because there's always more to these uh, things that we think. All right, so from that aspect, let's jump into our topic. So we're talking about the fractured mind, okay? The mind, I'm still learning about the mind in in, in that aspect because the mind is such a vast place. There's so many pathways, the neurological pathways, there's a synapse, how to trigger them, how suggestive auto-suggestion work to be able to unlock a certain part of our brain. But a lot of time, if you notice, when we drive a car, we have to learn how to drive a car based on example, and then we naturally do it. So we follow those instincts, right? So what I'm going with the fractured mind is this. If you look at a superhero, let's go for Batman, because Batman's a sociopath. Batman's mind was fractured from a childhood. So Batman's trauma in the comic books was his parents dying. So with trauma comes a fractured mind and your concept of life change. So when Batman mind was fractured, his way of seeing the life or what's around him become very different than how a regular person that's haven't gone through any deep, deep trauma. We all gone, we all gone through trauma. Some of us take it differently. Some of us use it to be able to excel right? Batman now turned himself into a superhero as a way of justifying his trauma as a child, right? And if you check out on my Spotify, there's a poetry called Fractured Mind. It gets deeper, right? So as Batman mind becomes fractured, right? In that aspect, his emotions become fractured, become emotionless. He doesn't, he doesn't necessarily care, but he wants to create a better world for himself in his own mind, 
right? So now I'm gonna flip side and say, okay, as human beings, we're not Batman or Superman or whatever the case may be, but you realize that all superheroes mind are fractured because they want a better place to be, but they have to do certain things to get there. So Batman was in the dark, just like the tree was, the roots grow right down into the dark. So Batman was in the dark, but he had to climb himself out of that dark pit to be able to be something more and positive when we look at Batman, All right? So here's the flip side. So if you are having a child, right, and you get pregnant, the thing is that the child itself is gonna be an essence of you because it's rooted down in your in the womb of a woman. And the man's sperm is the, the extension that creates it. So if two individuals are fractured or not really fully heal their wounds from past relationship or whatever is going on through their life, so that genetics from the man and the genetics from the, the woman is now passed down into the child, right? The reason why I say that because everything's on energy, everything's on frequency. So if the man hasn't healed his wound and his trauma, and the woman hasn't healed his wound or trauma, now you're creating that genetics and you're placing it into the newborn. And then guess what? That newborn baby is now in the womb, right? And then the, as my poetry goes, like, as she eat it, the spawn of the unwanted, transgress into the junction of the fallopian tube, into the pandemic chaos within the womb. So even as the baby is growing and it's rooted inside the womb, the baby is still listening. It may not hear your voice, but it's still feeling the frequency, the emotions that atta is attached to both parents, right? So as the child grows within that womb, the energy of both parents is actually connected and creating the offspring. So sometimes that you come out and the child comes out, you're like, wow, that child has the same mannerism as I do or the same mannerism as the mom. So sometimes that emotional or frequency takes over and you're wondering how come the child is behaving that, behaving at that? Because what it is is because you, your mind is fractured and you haven't fully healed the fractured part of your mind and then creating the offspring has those frequency and energy in that DNA. Right, so that's where I'm coming with the, the concept of the fractured mind. All right, so the other part of it is with this fractured mind, let's go deeper. So, let's imagine with your fractured mind if you understand how to heal your fractured mind. So, once you're able to understand the trauma that's connected to these emotion or your fractured mind or fractured thought or your doubt or your insecurity. Once you understand the root, like the tree, the tree roots itself down to understand itself into mother nature. So you yourself now need to root yourself in, in, in the sense of understand your deeper inner being and understand your thought process. So by understanding your thought process of your fractured mind, you're now able to find a root cause of why these emotions are lingering in the Pandora box of your mind. Because once you understand these emotions, you the, the fractures part of it, you can literally pull it out, put it on paper, write it down, understand the emotion, the feeling, the concept. Once you understand that root cause of it and you pull it out, that emotion no longer has power over you or that fractured thought no longer has emotion or power over you. Because again, if you're given uh, these thoughts, the power, of course it's gonna take over you. And then you make rash decisions based on the root emotion that's always been there and lingering, right? So that's what I consider a fractured, a fractured mind. I know, I, I know I'm fractured, but the understanding is, as a hypnotherapist, I had to work through my own emotion, own understanding of what some of the root causes it is. So this way I can now counteract it or get better at it and let go of it and let go and let go and let live, right? So, and that is the concept of a fractured mind. The other concept is that, is as the child grows up within the womb, right? And it's listening, 
right? So once the child is listening on the frequency, as not understand how to speak yet, but it's listening on the frequency as it grows over those nine months, right? If you now take this thing, if you now take the time out and actually um, take the time out and actually create suggestions while a child is in the womb with positive music and positive reassurance of the child and you speak to the child, you give it nurturing, just like you would water a, a tree for it to grow, as you water the child with positive emotion, positive frequency, positive food intake, which is important, because if you're nurturing yourself with positive food intake, now you're nurturing that energy that's within the child and you're nurturing your body as well. So then when the child comes out, it's coming out strong, healthy, with positive suggestions in its mind, preset by energy frequency that you yourself has created versus as the child come out into society, society gives it its own preset and categorize it where it should be and based on the surrounding, it grows up different. So if you imagine now, if you could catch that before the child comes out and start to create it with suggestion, write soft music, um, how you want things to be, and also within your own atmosphere, your own house with the two couples, and you guys become in a harmony, become like a yin and yang, become a balance where everything is moving together, what happens, you reduce the fractured mind concept because now you as a man is healing and as a woman, she's a woman is healing and in return, you create a balance of yin and yang for you and your child, right? So, and that's where I want to come from with the, the fractured mind concept is once you do that, it makes a world of difference and you could be able to have a positive outcome in your mind, right? Just like every superhero, they come with great powers, come with great gifts. It's all about the responsibility. As Batman realized his great responsibility from his childhood of being just and getting rid of bad people, as uh, Superman realized that he has a purpose in life, we're no different than those superheroes because we're, as human beings, are still fractured. So once we understand the root cause of these fractured thoughts and doubts, we're able to now become our own superhero in our own mind because the mind's a powerful thing. So it's whatever you tell the mind, it's gonna do because guess what? Your hands and feet is a physical extension of your subconscious mind. So keep that in mind. So your hands and feet is a physical extension of your subconscious mind. Woo, I'm having way too much fun. Um, again, so that's what I want to say, but listen out for our next podcast. Um, it's probably gonna be an automatic writing mm, or deja vu. So any one of those two, but I'll post it. But thank you again for listening and watching uh, Yoki Conscious Spoken Word Podcast. You can find it on Spotify, uh, YouTube, and on all streaming platform. I just wanna shout out Yoki Healing Arts for being our sponsor and taking good care of us. And you can find Yoki Healing Art on Facebook, Instagram, and go check out their website. Thanks again. The Wade from Yochi Content Spoken Out. Out. Have a good one.